as a mum or dad, those first few months with your newborn can be some of the most difficult times of your life. Not only are you adjusting to your new role as a parent, but you're also sleep deprived and emotional. So here to help us through, please welcome social scientist Dr Ali Walker. Hello Ali. Hi, how are you? Speak from the heart on this one. Your second old boy, Theo, didn't sleep through the night until I think he was two and that's only a few months ago. Yeah, so you see my so. smile go from here to here. Hooray for what you. What is life like having <laughs> slept through the night? Well, I'd like to report on that, but my five-year-old is de deciding to come in while he's transitioning to school, so our sleep is still interrupted, as a lot of parents will relate. But what I wanted to talk about I think is really important for all parents because we're given this ideal of parenthood mm -hmm. and I think what we need to talk about is that on one side we have parental joy and mm -hmm. on the other side we have postnatal depression. Yep. And for most of us, we're somewhere in the middle. And I found, particularly after the birth of my first child, I was judging myself for not feeling more of the parental joy and it took about three to six months for some of that joy to kick in once I'd gotten over the shock of the huge adjustment that a baby brings. Like there are few experiences in life that will change you fundamentally forever mm -hmm. and not only change you, they'll change you while you are totally sleep deprived. <laughs> and also it's a high stakes game, right? You're yeah. trying to keep this baby alive and keep yourself alive at the same time. And so I think everybody goes through this adjustment phase and we need to normalise that phase yes. for parents. I still remember driving home from the hospital with the baby in the basket, thinking, looking over my shoulder, thinking someone's going to come and stop me and say, you're not qualified. For this. <laughs> what preparations can first time parents make? Well, I used to think of it with my first baby, after I'd had a first baby. It's so funny that we get there and we say, OK, I'm buying the car and I'm buying the pram and we think we're prepared. It's almost like buying some a snorkel and some flippers and being prepared for a tsunami. Yeah. Like saying that, I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> and it's just not the case. So I think the best preparation is to avoid any comparis comparisons once you've had the baby. Mm -hmm. So you, it's lovely to go to mother's groups and parents' groups and talk to other parents, but don't try to compare. Your baby is different from everyone else's baby. Yep. The other thing we can do is just have no expectations of ourselves yes. in that three to six month period. So if you're in your pyjamas mm. at two o'clock in the afternoon, that's okay. If you're in your pyjamas, the whole day, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. And if your house isn't clean, that's fine too. So just be in survival mode for that three to six months and know that after three three to six months, it will get better. Yeah. Vital, and vital. We're, we're all just points. doing our best. Yeah. You've just got to remind yourself, I'm doing okay. So I'm doing okay. No comparisons. Yeah. Um, have no expectations. That's a great place to be in. And love yourself and your partner. And thankfully, our babies are made cute. Keep <laughs> loving your baby as well. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Ali. Thanks for having me.